You know you have to have a mobile-ready website in 2017, but it's really, really difficult, right? Or perhaps it's not. Let's take a look at Thrive Architect, a really simple way to create mobile-ready pages in minutes and how easy it can really be. Let's get going. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do mobile responsive websites using Thrive Architect. This is really cool and powerful because you can create websites that not only look good on PC or tablet, but also look good on mobile phone, which as we know is insanely important in 2017 and beyond, because Google is punishing you if you do not have mobile responsive and your potential customers or clients are leaving your website if they can't use it on mobile, if it's not readable. So you need to be ready for mobile and tablet. And this editor here makes it very simple to do that. So let's take a look at some of the features and some of the ways you can create mobile ready websites. So first of all, you make a page or post or whatever it is that you're editing, such that I've done here. And this is an example I've used in the previous videos. And I'm just going to continue with that and show you how that works with the mobile stuff. So the first thing you want to do is go down to the very bottom of the editing panel on the left here and click on this little middle icon here, which is the mobile responsive tablet and desktop views. And as you can see, I've clicked on tablet and already the tablet view has come into place. Now they've made specific decisions on what a tab tablet constitutes. So in their terms, a tablet is 768 pixels wide, which is best practices. So of course you need to check things on your tablet and make sure they work, but this is a great way to test them on the screen. And what you're getting here is basically a restricted view that you would normally see on a tablet screen. So if we scroll down and see if we've got any issues, if anything's not appearing correctly, and everything looks pretty good on tablet. We could increase the font size here a little bit maybe. This is a little bit small. Maybe put in some more padding here and increase this picture section here. It's a little bit too small. You want to have decent padding everywhere. Maybe take the button. That's the button text. Let's grab the button and increase the padding above the button a little bit. So on every view, you just want everything spaced out nicely and not too scrunched up because that doesn't look good in web design. So you can do that in this editor on the mobile view, on the tablet view, you can edit every specific element and make sure it looks good on that view. And what Thrive does is it applies those settings to that particular view and smaller views. So this will now apply to the phone view as well, which may or may not look good. We have to test it. But basically what you do on the PC view, the main view applies to everything. What you do on this view applies to this size and smaller. And then if we scroll down and check everything looks okay, we can move on to the phone view. And there's some adjustments I'd like to make here. And you can see these headings are overlapping. This heading is too big. So let's fix that and reduce that heading size. Not too small. That's probably big enough. And that was going onto the same line. So we want to make that a bit smaller. And then the button text is obviously way too big. That's probably okay. I would want to just play around with that a little bit. And also in the end, you want to check it on a phone as well to make sure it's okay. Now the minimum height of the picture is probably too much that we did on the view above us, which was the tablet view, we made that longer and that doesn't really work that much. So that's pretty good. So I would leave that like that. Now what I don't like here is I would center the text for this text now, make that look nicer now that everything before we had everything in columns, so it was okay. But once the columns become stacked on top of each other, which is typical for a mobile view, you want to make sure that the text is all centered and looking good in every situation. So we go in and we edit all of those. So now all of our text and our columns are centered 
Our headings are decent size. I would play with them a little bit more if I had time, but this is a short video for you guys. And then, of course, these headings are insanely large. We want to make those a bit smaller. That looks pretty good. I would maybe potentially reduce the size of this picture. And then you need to reduce the padding at the top here. It's rather large. We're going to bring that up a little bit. So again, you don't want too much space between elements or before and after elements, but you want enough to make it look stylish and roomy. You don't want to have everything scrunched, but you don't want to have masses of space either. So that looks pretty good. And then the map, I would potentially center that a little bit better. It's got some padding issues, which I'm not sure how I'm going to fix that. What specific settings it allows us. Potentially, I want to put some more padding on the right here, just so that kind of lines up with that text above. We don't want too much space on the left and not enough space on the right. Or maybe we can do more space on the right. Actually stretch that out a bit. So that looks about right now. So that map looks good. There's enough padding that it doesn't look squeezed in there. And that all looks nice. So now if we go back to the tablet view, the tablet view was exactly as we left it because the mobile view overrides that because it's smaller. All the smaller views override the larger views. And it's just reminding me that I need to save, which I'm not going to do. And so that's really good. So we get all the previews here for the three main versions that we need to be careful of. Of course, as I said, you should test this stuff on live machines, on a on an iPad, on a Samsung Galaxy maybe. Make sure everything looks good on all sizes anyway, but this is a really good start for making sure your website is super mobile ready and mobile responsive. So the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is that actually if you decide, for example, on a mobile view that you don't want a particular element, say we decide we don't want this banner because it's just getting in the way and it doesn't look good on mobile and I can't be bothered fixing it or it doesn't make sense for mobile visitors to see it, you can actually turn it off in specific views. If you scroll down to this responsive section here, we can hide and show specific elements on specific views. So if I turn that off on mobile, you can see it's just disappeared. So turn it back on, comes back. So it's not gone, it's just hidden. That's something you can do in web programming. You can hide elements. It's very simple. And you can do the same on tablet if it doesn't work. So on all your different views, you can add and subtract elements depending on what looks good. What I sometimes do for clients is if a very complicated section of the page is just really difficult to fix on a mobile, I will actually redo it differently in a mobile. For example, sometimes I have logo icons spanning a particular page and when you squish them down on a mobile it just doesn't look good so I want to split those six logos into three and three and put them on top of each other so then what I do is I create a specific element for mobile and a specific wider element for desktop and I just turn each of them on when I need them so I create more elements that I need to make my website look better and then I turn them on and off when I need them so that's really, really powerful. And here's a little switch where you can turn everything on if you want to see it as well. So basically that's it for mobile specific design in Thrive. I'm not going to teach you how to make websites and mobile websites, but these are the powerful tools that you have at your disposal using Thrive Architect to make mobile and tablet ready websites really, really fast and really, really simple. So if you're interested in Thrive, there's a link below for Thrive Architect below here. I get a small commission for that. That's just a thank you from you guys for me creating all these great videos. I really appreciate that. It keeps me going, keeps me eating, keeps me paying the rent. And if you've got any other requests or problems or questions, let me know. I'll be using this tool a lot and I know the ins and outs of all web programming, website design, and the Thrive tools. So if you're enjoying this video, you can also subscribe below and I'll see you in the next one.